So hello and welcome back. The live selling holes are here. <laughs> so we're going to do some unboxing and recall what we have uh, been lately purchased through the local LGS uh, live selling on Facebook. So this arrived in this package but <laughs> I think I combined two of these. So we're just going to check each one. So these are two separate uh, LGS that has been doing uh, uh, Facebook live selling on their respective groups or FB group or group chat or whatever it works to play. So let's peel off some of these and preview uh, the cards and let us check uh, what we had and which one uh, Kamigawa set boosters uh, yeah, we got uh, lucky on pulling this. So let us set aside this first. Let's just go with this. Checking on the foils and for the rares, of course. And let's try to separate the rares first. So the sorting will be done later on for the uh, off video setup. So Ryu was the first. And this one still, still, still. So grab through the tape and uh, some art arts and oh we've got there are your martial Lexus joy for the wear so nothing to fancy put on this so these are the free beasts at first I think these are just some random cards this is added to my order but since uh, thank you for the LGS would write this, uh, Bossessor, thank you for that, for that one, we have a, another Kyo Land, but uh, this is just another March, and the red version with the Kamigawa frame, I think I'm okay with that one, but we didn't hit any other card, a good card on that, so, next, this is the uh, just another long bladed hard art, and we have uh, tokens and a tamishi. Tamishi were rare, and uh, nothing else. Just a foil, uh, non basic. And this one is. I think I've opened uh, good stuff on this. I don't really remember what card was that, but uh, let us check. We have a Basidio and Donis Chronosis as the list card. Uh, Modern Horizons 2. But we have a Basidio again. Hit. Another Basidio in our uh, pile of Basidio hits in the past. And given this, let's see the Living Lore uh, special Kamigawa frame with art, of course, good art. So, uh, separating the rest, we have just. Uh, Okay, lands and art cards again to include. And last for this uh, uh, LGS opening, uh, we have an art card, more uh, sorry, captains, um, a courtyard is a good hit, also Rato, and we have an in inventive iteration for the rare. So moving along these, these are just uh, some of the stuff, so we'll just show it to you guys, we have uh, a charge and a fable hero with a better than one, and just this one, it's Parian 2 with Gambrillo foil, so nothing to fancy here, we're just going to include it for the other openings, so we'll have this one, next, you see, this one project with a few of those, uh, First up, uh, Modern Horizons Draft Boosters. These are, I think this is from the color game. This is uh, Rivals of Exalan. Uh, purchase 
which they offered for three, four hundred, I think. Nothing you can send it, so we're just going to check first on this. Or we are going to go through the separating the wares, but we'll just uh, check another deal we've we'll got here. So this is the first one is I think this is my lucky pool. The Polyraptor foil from my boss of Ixalan. This I think this is worth the value. Along with Haddon's climb. With some uncommons that are we have I think we've forgotten already on the set. So the separation will just be done after the video. Okay, so just set it aside. Then we have the Mastermind Acquisition, a black uh, sorcery with some pride, the lieutenant, and reckless rage with uncommons. We didn't have any foil here, so I'm gonna skip it. Then we have the list of the win for the rare for the third pack. Then some pillage, aquatic inversion and forward turn. So the basic lens got some uh, common status on the rivals of Excellent. So still, still a still good set as I remembered. But most of the rare's traced mythics are already way behind the value. So we're going to go with the color game pools. I uh, not think it was lucky or just unluckily pulled out red from the random uh, randomization of the uh, color to choose. So I might be that uh, unlucky on that, but unfortunately I had a few good loots on this, including the rares. I think these are just uncommon, so we're just going to skip through it. Maybe this is uncommon, a common, I mean. So these are maybe the list cards, or including the rares. So we have a ceremonial guard, a foil, this is a foil, common risk sand. Some commons and commons, it's kind of mix, but uh, anyway, let's check which are the rares. This is some of the art cards. Um, this may be included the rare. Let us see. So we have a few uncommons here. Smelter, oh, so common. So just some of the red commons and uncommons, which I think he didn't uh, didn't really uh, arrange this one for the for the color game. So just put out the red. Yeah, so basically random. So I think that was on the first part was included the the rare. So we're just going to go back to that one and open it. This may have the wares that I pulled. So just going to chill. So this is it. These are blades. We have a uh, mythic atutsi. We have again the rising. We have Rizona, Mirijin Brewing Blades, Jishiro, the Shutter Blade, a uh, list card, Aki, Hoflinger, and some others are another wear, and Bokalamiti. March, I would like to enjoy again. These are blades regular, and some foils. So overall, I pulled about uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 color red based uh, from the color game. And a few list and a mythic, I think two mythics, but uh, they're, they're not of the value. So anyway, still a good uh, experience to go to that. Uh, we're just going to skip on that again and go through the last part of this hole, which is the draft boosters of Modern Horizons 2. I thought that it will have some value cards or hitting some of the value cards, but I think the set boosters are better and uh, the chances of doing those. So I basically just paid <laughs> with a lot for this pool, but I think, but I don't think I did it. I got uh, some value cards here, so we're just going to check on it again. 
for our pulls on this uh, set. So this one is the first uh, obsidian charmo uh, foreign ice. This is our already. Sometimes it's witness, it is black, plain blitz, and the foil play essence. So the rest are just uh, comments that I think may be staple later on for the uh, modern ones or uh, modern tournaments in black. So next we have an ignoble hierarch. This is worth a value before, but it's now just uh, plainly five to six dollar card, and we have an upheaval. But we hit a good uncommon here with the Dragon Stray Channeler and a Prismatic Ending. It's a good uncommon with the value. Next, uh, MH2 Draft Booster Pack. We have a Timeless Dragon and Snow Snare for uncommon with Yearling and Scary Oak. Nothing full fancy in this. As I know that uh, set boosters are way better in opening maybe two or three rares hit but uh, you know search the premises for the rare and salvage boundaries captain ripley bands uh, more of the HDL <laughs> side so with the last uh, MH2 draft booster we're going to wrap up this video we have Reef, I think this is my hit for the mythic, but its current value is still uh, below its uh, average price before. So if I break I could sell this, then maybe I could get uh, half of the what I spent on the set boosters, um, and draft boosters I mean. And we have a foil territory Kabu with Karmic Guide, also a good uh, rare card, but uh, not that uh, valuable now. With some uncommons that are just basic uh, setup. Also. So that's a wrap for this uh, batch of uh, live cell holes. Meet up soon in the coming weeks, maybe. And if we can wait for Sis of New Capena for discards and more on this as uh, we go through another batch of uh, openings of Mail Day for our final videos. So thank you for watching this one and have a great weekend.